Hi, this is Zalman Eisenstock speaking from Efrat in Gush Etzion. And this uh, mini shiur is a continuation of the Shema Bekula in Liyu Nishmat Sara Rivka, Bat Rav Nachum, and Mindel. And I sort of feel part of the family in that we know Josh and Rivki from a long time ago. And we were also uh, Shlichim in Stanford, Connecticut. Uh, many years ago, and as someone who has lectured and spoken about Tehillim and written a book on Tehillim, so I was very, very uh, moved by the whole project and uh, that we're coming not only to say Tehillim, but we're coming to learn Tehillim together as a world community. The Mizmor that uh, I'm talking about today is Mizmor Ayan, the 70th Mizmor in uh, Tehillim. And the basic subject in this Mizmor talks about the request of David that Hashem come to his aid, come to help him quickly. And although we do not know exactly the circumstances, as happens in many of the Mizmor of Tehillim, nonetheless there is a key idea. And before we get to the Mizmor itself, so I just wanted to talk about the number, number 70. We just um, had the Seder, and in the Seder we talk about the fact that the Shivim Nefesh, 70 souls went down to the first exile in Egypt. Before going down, the Torah talks about the fear that Yaakov had as the leader, as the father of this very, very small community. The Torah relates as follows. Vayomer, God said to Yaakov, Anochi ha'el Elohei avicha, I am the God of your father. Al tira mirda mitzrayma. Do not fear to go down to Egypt. Kidogoy gadol asim chashan. For there you will become a great nation. And not only that, but there's also the promise of going out from Egypt. Anochi ereid imcha mitzrayma. I will go down with you. Ve'anochi, I, God, alcha, and I will also go out with you, with the Jewish people. The events, of course, don't happen, don't happen over a short period of time, as perhaps Yaakov had wished, but they happen over a period of 210 years. And strangely enough, when the moment comes for the redemption, for the Geula, things happen in a very rapid pace. Bechipazon. They happen with expediency. There is no time to tarry. The moment has come for the Jewish people to leave. And that, I feel, is an overall theme here in this 70th Mizmor. Here we have David saying, Elohim, he requests, Lahatsileni, please come and help me. Hashem les rati chusha, and do it quickly. And he says later at the end, va'ani, as for me. And one of the things that guided me when I was thinking and writing about Tilim are the words of the Radak, who says a number of times in his commentary on Tilim that the words and the messages of the entire book were not meant only for a particular time, but for meant for all generations and for all who want to turn to God for help. Va'ani, says David, Ani ve'avion, I am but a poor person. I don't deserve your help. Nonetheless, Elohim chushali, he repeats again, that come to my aid quickly. Ezri falti ata, you are the one who can help me. Hashem al ta'achar. Don't delay. And in Yeshayahu as well, this idea of 
in the, continua- in the continuation of this concept of this idea of the redemption coming speedily, quickly, Yeshayahu also talks about that in um, the in Perik uh, Samech, where he talks about the Gula of redemption the following way. Kumi ori, kiva orech, uchvod Adonai alayich zarach, v'alchu goyim l'orech, umalachim l'noga zarchech. The redemption is spoken about as the light. And just as the light is something, just like the beginning of the day, as the Gemara talks about something that comes slowly, and then all of a sudden you are struck by the fact that the sun is shining, so through the redemption of Am Yisrael. And at the end of that 60th parak in Yeshayahu, he says as follows, HaKaton Yeh Le'elef, V'atzair L'Goy Atzum, Ani Hashem, I, God, Be'ita, as far as this Gula is concerned, it will happen in its time, Achishana, quickly. And this is a contradiction in terms in which the Gemara interprets as follows. Yes, if the Jewish people are not deserving, there will come a time. There will always be an appointed time that God has in his calendar when the Gula, when the redemption will come. Nonetheless, there is the possibility as well of Achishena, that it will come sooner than expected. And that is all dependent upon us. And this is a tremendous lesson, I think, of this means more 70 and the whole idea of the redemption. Too often, the Jewish people have tarried. When the time came after the first Galut, the first exile, in Babylonia, the time came for the Jews with the permission of Koresh in Persia of returning. And what happened? Most of the Jews did not want to. The small minority led by Ezra and afterwards Nehemiah came back to rebuild what we call Shivat Zion. And there was tremendous, tremendous reconstruction and rebuilding of Yerushalayim and of the Beit HaMikdash. Seventy years, again that number comes into play in terms of exile and redemption. But as I said, most of the people tarried and did not return. And in modern times, we could see the same concept of the redemption, of the return to the land. In the days of uh, political Zionism, beginning in the 19th century, continuing in the 20th century, and yet the Jews tarried. And as, the, as Rabbi Soloveitchik explains in Kol Dudi Dofeik, in the same vein, that God is knocking on the doors, on our doors. He wants us to return. He wants us to have the opportunity to rebuild. And yet what happens is that too often we have missed the opportunity. And so therefore, in summary, the lessons of this seemingly unimportant mizmor are all conveyed in that word. The idea of chush of redemption. And so we can say that our hope is that while we have merited and we have seen beautifully the rebuilding of our land here in Eretz Israel, and maybe not Israel, yet the hope is that we won't delay and we won't tarry and we'll take the opportunities as they come our way through Hashkachat Hashem, to continue and rebuild and hopefully bring quickly and in our days um, the Mashiach. That are, those are my words on Mizmor Ayin, the 70th Mizmor of Tilim. And it was my honor to uh, give this brief shiur and hope that you enjoyed and learned from it. Thank you.